Welcome back to an ownership base. So today on the bench we have a Sony DVD player and um, model number DVP SR370. So I'm doing this video because I've got a new mic set up and uh, I think it sounds pretty awesome. Tell me what you think about it. All right. Get back to the thing so this inserts it's dusty and second thing is we can switch it on there we go got a green light and it doesn't eject the disc so let's go up a screwdriver see if we can get this opened up These stuff are not really worth repairing these days. It's made for throwing away society. That's the other one over there. You can see the serial number. So I'm still playing around with the mic position and stuff like that, and mids and highs and tones and all that stuff. But it's actually playing the disc. Let's just switch it off. Okay, got the cover removed. Um, we went to go visit some people, and my daughter wanted to watch a movie, and we had a disc there, and she watched it, and then I ended up, up taking the DVD player back home because um, the disc was still in there. That's how. I'll Get it sorted. Alright, so it is working, it's just not ejecting the disk. Power supply looks good. Careful. Yes. High voltage in this section. High voltage in this section. And this side over here is the digital port. Just to stop and see if it will eject. Okay, it's stopping the disc. And it's not ejecting the disc. Okay. So, unplug it. It's uh, take the face off. You see, it's a lot of dust over here. Doesn't come that good up on the camera. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's mess up some freezes and get the people mad. Messing up tweezers. I must say these tweezers are doing quite well for the amount of abuse I give it. Even to it. Okay, we've got another clip on the bottom. And this whole thing just falls out. <laughs> no screws holding in the player. Okay, let's get this whole board unplugged. Okay, so we have one switch here for the eject ejection, and we should have motor somewhere for running the tray, which I don't see. This one running the disc that runs the head. So is there some way this actually, ah, they're using one motor 
to do everything. So the, the laser motor actually runs the, the little motor as well. I wonder, can we just remove this? Give it a bit of a clean. Only some clips, like this one over here. Get it unclipped. We have another one on this side here. There it is. I think 90% of this thing is just dust. This one's unhooked. This one is not unhooked yet. Okay, just did some weird thing now on the camera, yeah? Let's move this one slightly back. Yeah, just clipped in again. Put that side out. Put this side out. Rails doesn't look too bad. But we do have quite a bit of dust over here. And over here. Got some haze in here. Okay, so let's just clean this up a bit. I actually thought we'll have a belt in there, but there's no belts in this system. It's all gear, gear driven. There's a spring loaded. This is the drive unit. So once it engages there, with the jigs disk. Okay. So maybe just a good rush and a blowout will do the job. Let's check this again. So good. Yeah. Then Still, but I'm just moving this gear. That's all I'm doing. Doing the do the jack stage. For some reason. Once it comes to here, 
gets hard. It's really hard to turn. Yeah, so once it fully ejects, that's the next switch that engages. It's so hard. It's binding up somewhere. Right here. On the stage here, it's hard. You see? Why is this so hard? It binds up and it goes. Let's remove this slider again. This one as well. If we can engage this to take this gear out here, or the slider, can move the slider from I don't know if it's going to be possible. Uh, the problems on the slider. So to remove the slider, we need to take the laser assembly out. We're going to remove these two screws. Let's pop this up. Yeah, you need to remove this cable. This looks like just slides out. And if it's able to remove this complete assembly, should unhook from the front. Okay, so we've got a little plastic hook over here. I think that we need to get out somewhere to move this assembly up. There we go. Maybe we can get it out now. I'm clipping this. Uh, like that clip was so this clip is an alignment clip for you can swing it out. Man, this is not easy. I think I thought this is going to be a quick video, but put some air in here.
what I want to do is I want to inspect that slide. Can we engage this head? Oh, okay, so that, there we go. I don't feel if there's any weird spots on this ramp. It doesn't feel like it. Okay, let's give this a, a light wipe. Yeah. Should go back in over here. Watch out, we don't mess up the switch. Push the switch out of the way. Yeah. It feels nice and smooth now. Okay, see if we can get this back in here. Okay, it assembles much assembles much easier than trying to get it caught. This would be I just had it in the wrong position, so it must be maybe in up position to assemble it. And this was this way around. And it's just all plastic. Okay, not made to be serviced. Okay. Let's see what it's doing now. You can use a spring or something somewhere because mm, this to be way more springy.
I've lost a spring or something. That's weird. If we lost the spring somewhere. Okay, let's see what happens when you put this back. Okay, so that's what we'll be playing now. It's way smoother. It feels way better. All right. I think all it needed was a good clean. But let's put this back. Plug it in. See what happens when we apply power to it. Get this nice and straight and level. Let's now look at the laser. Okay, it's on. Let's try to see if it will eject now. Let's see no disk. Okay, looks good. Okay, let's put a disc in. It's not the fastest or responsive um, DVD player, this. I can actually play media as well. Okay, I think this one will stop. Okay, let's go stop. Sometimes you actually eat it twice in some DVD players. Hit the eject button.
Ah, I see. I see the fault here. Yeah. Okay, let's just um, get this into the right position. It's got two hooks here in the back that needs to hook into. There we go. That looks better. Okay, we're going to stop it again. I see this is not the fastest DVD player. Let's clean that lens, IR lens in the front. That's it. It was just a bit of dust that was causing the problem. But it's, uh, yeah, let's close it up. Yeah, not the fastest and responsive DVD player I've ever seen. But at least it's, it's, it's working now. But let's, uh, we discover from bezel back. Yeah. Just before we close it, let's give it one last test. I mean, I plugged it in. It's still waiting for power light to come on. <laughs> okay, one last test. What's wrong here? Yeah? Which is yeah, buttons click, but it's not doing anything. What the right way of doing is actually needs 
these buttons need to be replaced. It's probably oxidized on the inside. Okay, I'll give it back to them like that. If if it causes problems, I'll replace that buttons. Not. Okay, that looks good. If it causes problems, I will just replace the buttons, but I don't think so. so let's just close this up again. Call it the repair. I know these people, so they just live around the corner, so it won't be any trouble if I need to replace the buttons. And so it just makes it easier for everyone. I'm not charging for this either, so come on. Get it aligned properly. I know it's going to be slightly out of focus, that's fine. And while well, I put this last screw in, I'll say thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers. Uh, like I said, I need to play a little bit around with the position of this microphone. It's a bit in my way now. Maybe move the stand up or something. But so far, I'm very happy with how it works. One last time. And then I'll catch you guys in the next one. There we go. Quite the ingenious way. I mean, it's not using any belts in any way. You get some cable ties. Tie up all these wires hanging around here now. Eject. There we go. I'll call this a fix. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe. Cheers.